Guys, this is Watsy playing Boom Beach again. Um, today I'm just going to go through our task force attacks um, because I haven't really got much to update you on. I've attacked about three bases and lost to every single one, um, so they're going to be added to a collection of fail videos that I'll upload at some point when I've, I've got say five, five or ten, something like that. So um, the last operation we did, I'm in the wrong section. Last operation we did was Hacksaw. We've just done ticker tape, but um, Hacksaw is the better one to go through, really. Um, so, uh, started off with XL. Um, oh, it's down there. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, anyway, I can't see. For some reason, I can't see what troops he's deployed. So, we're going to have a look at this one. Um, and we're going to watch it at a fairly faster speed. So he's using tanks and medic, which is... I'm just going to try and turn this down a minute. It seems a bit loud. Wrong way. My apologies. Right, so he's taken out those rocket launchers, which are definitely needed, um, because that leaves us a safe way round through this side. Um, so let's speed that up to four times. And this is Riju, Riju M. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Um, I mean those those mines and that that boom mine they're going to do a lot of damage there because obviously everything on operations is maxed up. Um, so as you can see, he's probably going to take down some of these flamethrowers with um, without too much hassle, to be honest. Um, because we'll tank out the range of flamethrowers, so he's not going to have any problems there. Uh, but the only thing that's going to happen now is just, he's likely to run out of time before he even gets to attack the uh, the main power cell. Uh, just in range of a boom cannon there, so he lost one more troop. But um, okay, so that was done fairly well. That left a nice access to that. Uh, the second attack uh, by Danny Boy. He's used a heavy heavy Zuka combo, um, people sometimes call that uh, a hooker I think it is or something like that, um, oh this is on borderline so it's not actually the same one, uh, I probably should have done XL uh, the next one, uh, but not a problem, um, you can see he's doing quite well there actually, you know, because he's got so many troops the boom cannon just doesn't really have an effect, the flamethrowers do but these heavies can save up a lot of damage. Um, and obviously the Zookas are just really powerful and because you've got quite a lot of them um, they just cause so much damage um, so it's actually doing very well there the only problem you've got is that shock launcher um, obviously that causes damage when it hits as well and the Zookas they just they just can't take the damage um, so they're going out next shot um, and that's, that's that one done um, right so I'm not even on the same task force, uh, on the same operation, which <laughs> which means I've showed you it for no reason. So my lower level account, um, I did attack this, um, and I think it was I think all I did is just send my zookas over to the um, flamethrowers. Um, obviously, my riflemen are just going to get taken out. Um, this is not Castle. No problem. If anyone, but the if anyone also can hear this message, please send help. Um, there are so some mutant there. mother um, running around out. this town, uh, and then I went on to main power which, if I remember correctly, I very nearly took down, uh, which has been very good for a level 19 player. Um, it was totally open, so uh, I was hoping to be on the my wife and the I would be taking that down no problem, which would be something I'll remember for the future. Um, 
with this account. Uh, so as you can see, I'm very close. I think I left something like 11,000 there. the rocket launchers there and they just take so much damage off even tanks and these are level 11 tanks that's always a good idea is to smoke the medics so they've got a chance to run away um, because they tend to just stay in the middle of the field healing themselves getting shot by everything um, because they're being shot they never move um, but he's got a very good idea here, if he gets in between the rocket launchers they can't fire at him. Um, so the rocket launchers there are going down um, and I assume he's now going to... Uh, yeah, some of them went over to the Snark Tower, um, but yeah he's going for the flamethrowers um, because they're usually out of range, he's come a bit close there with his, um, with his flare but that's not a problem. So now he's started on the HQ but realistically he's going to get taken down um, or whether he's going to get taken down or run out of time I don't know um, but he's in range of the mortar I don't know about the others whether they're still in range um, yeah they are still in range but I think it's going to be a case he times out put that in four times and um, that is the end of that one In fact, if you look up the top left of the screen, you can see how, um, whether it's just past task operations it doesn't like, but that's showing 16 out of 0 force points, um, and it's not showing anything but a blue circle, so I don't really know what's going on with that. That might be something Supercell is currently looking into, because um, there does seem to be a few bugs um, with the current version. Um, right, so... That was Illy that attacked, so now we're going to look at uh, Squiggly Piggly's attack. He only took down two um, with Zuka's Rifleman and Heavies. So let's see how he got on. Uh, I put it in two times to start with. Right, I'm going to go to four times because he's, it looks as if he's going around the outside. See, those mines took um, quite a lot of damage off his Rifleman, to be honest. Um, see, that's the only problem with flares. Um, oh, he's going for these sniper towers. That wasn't really the best idea uh, because they just got wiped out uh, because he was in range of the rocket launchers. 
Um, right, so next we're going to Dave, who destroyed Smog City uh, on his own. He had 10 level several ta 7 tanks and um, 6 medics. So let's see how he's done this. Obviously this is a brand new, uh, brand new, no force points taken off. Uh, he's doing it all by himself. So I'm going to put it in two times to start with. Uh, and if it gets repetitive I'll put it into four times. So he's going straight for the flamethrowers uh, because they're in the way of the, of the main power core. Um, the only issue he's going to find is... Uh, no, the shock launcher is not actually going to touch him. And he's not going close enough for those boom ones to to be any effect. Uh, that one that one there, uh, that just took one out. But that just shows how strong the boom mines are. And even that sniper tower, uh, it's just it wiping them out. Uh, fortunately, he got away from it there, actually. Although, yeah. Uh, how has he not been... How has that boom mine not blown up? He must be literally just on the edge. Um, but he's done well here. Um, you can see that health is, is coming down. Um, although he's getting shocked. Uh, luckily, these ones here aren't getting shocked. It's only those two, which is quite good because that leaves. Um, I think he's got five tanks there constantly shooting. Um, so that's made it able for him to take that base down. So that's in four times now. Um, and I imagine he was fairly close to the time taking this down. Right, so that was Smog City down. Um, so that was the second base down, I think. Um, yeah, second base down. Um, so then we've got a couple more attacks on Paradox. This was Spart. Um, he's level 30, so a reasonably lower sort of level. Um, he's got nine level 8 heavies and 12 level 7 zookas. So he's only taken out one thing here. So let's... Um, Let's see what it's taken out. And we've still got the issue up the top left, apart from this one doesn't even say any force points whatsoever. So I'm going to put that into four times. Just going around the left side. Um, I wonder if he's going to make the same mistake as the other person and end up at the sniper towers. Yeah, uh, he's gone for the sniper towers, which is in range of the rocket launcher. Um, I imagine if he'd looked at the other attacks, may have avoided that, he should have gone straight for the, uh, the main power core. Uh, so next on Hacksaw was, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll finish off Paradox first and then we'll go to the last one, Quay. Um, game test uh, attack Paradox, um, he's level 46, he's, um, he's a pretty good player. He's got 9 level 14 um, bazookas, he's got level 15 heavies, 8 of them, uh, and level 15 uh, rifleman. He's also taken some medics as well. So let's just um, see how we got on with this. Um, the fact he's taken out six things, I imagine uh, he's probably um, gone for those snipers. So he's going on the outside, so I'm going to take that to four times again. Uh, and we'll see what it is he was attacking. So he's coming down to these cannons. Um, Maybe it was because it seems to be taking everyone out. Uh, he decided, right, well, if I take them out, no one else can. Uh, unfortunately, they're getting too close. Tanks. Tanks would be the best thing for that, I think. To take that down. Uh, so let's look at the next Paradox attack. Um, oh, that was me on the last Paradox. I was the one to take it down. I sent out 10 level 7 tanks and... Um, Six. I've only got level one medics. I haven't bothered upgrading because it's only one um, extra health point that they, they actually heal you with. Um, so to be honest, it's not on the top of my priority list to do that. I don't know what they go up after levels of that. Um, but to be honest, I'd rather upgrade my um, offensive troops rather than, I suppose, defensive. So I'm going to four times that because I'm going right around the outside. Um, and they have been nice enough to clear it, um, but I went totally around the outside for it. So I would have stayed well away from them. Um, saying that, I've run them down to the sniper tower there, which actually was a bad idea. But because there wasn't much health left, to be honest, I wasn't worried. 
Um, and anyway, I shot them. I can't remember if I lost the troop, but that, um, that took the base down. So the last one was Quay. Quay is the hardest one of Hacksaw. Um, so we're going to watch uh, Danny Boy's attack. Um, he sent out 16 heavies and 24 Zookas. I can't see the level. Um, yet again, I don't know why. Um, right, so let's see what he's done here. I'm going to hit him two times. So he shot those rocket launchers because they will destroy the troops in seconds. Um, and they've just been released now. Uh, you can see they just even being close they took off half the uh, half the health of the Zookas. In fact I think he's lost a lot of the Zookas there. Um, so it seems here he's taken down a lot of the little power cores. Um, and I read somewhere each each building you destroy and that includes these smaller power cores, ten percent of that health that is what's taken off um, the main HQ or main power core, whether that be in a player's base, uh, a non-player base, uh, uh, like a computer base, or whether it be an operation. Um, whether that's strictly true, I don't know. Um, it was something I read on one of the Supercell forums. Um, so the next, opera next uh, attack was Mad Max. Um, 12 level 11 heavies and 18 level 7 bazookas. His bazookas are actually a lot lower than his heavies. That's um, quite surprising. So I assume he goes the same sort of way. But what he did do was send the bazookas, uh, the heavies, on the left side of that so that the rocket launchers fired at them as opposed to bazookas, which was a very good idea. And he's tried taking out all the, the boom cannons here. He's successfully taken out one and about half the health of the other. Um, so obviously that's helping on people getting round, um, save them losing troops. Um, the next one was Pacenta. Uh He sent out uh, riflemen, which probably wasn't the best idea to be honest. Um, but he's taken out five um, five buildings, so um, he's obviously done something right. Uh, so if we see, he's going to come down this bottom line. That seems to be the safest path. Um, but those rocket launchers just just taking out everyone. Um, yes, he did take some out. So what's happened here is he's taken out the boom cone. He's just taken out these these power cores. And I imagine those mortars are just gonna just gonna destroy the riflemen. They're really effective. Um, although he shot them, the outside ones can still get access to them. So, um, but still, every little helps in in each operation. Everyone's attack um, unless you get no force points they're pretty much all worth worth doing um, so this is the harsh um, he sent out 20 level 12 supers and 16 level 12 heavies so let's see what he's done here. he's taken down 14 force points um, so let's see how he's done it so yeah again he's coming down the right hand side he's shocking the rocket launchers which is the best thing you can do really. Um, once you're out of range of those, that makes it nice and easy. Um, I don't know if those, I assume those rocket launchers don't really go much past the power core, um, but we will see about that uh, once it gets a bit closer. You can see those Zookas just taking everything down. Um, they just supply so much damage. The only problem you've got here is those sniper towers now are surrounded, are surrounding them, so, there's not really a way for him to keep out of it. Um, but he's cleared so much of the base there. Um, so that's a lovely clean path straight to the um, straight to the back of the power core. Uh, the Dominator, who's level 28, he sent out four level one tanks. Um, personally, I find level one tanks weren't very good, but obviously when you first unlock the tanks, they're brilliant compared to other troops. So uh, I'm not surprised he's used them. I would have done the exact same thing. So we'll just see how far he gets. See the problem with um, low level tanks is that they can't take much damage from these level 20 defense defenses. Um, now the last attack is John Doe MG. Uh, John Doe OMG. Now you might have seen him on the um, the 
UK um, leaderboard. I think last time he was about 44 I checked. So he's got 18 level 15 tanks, he's got level 11 medics. Whether the medics are, are maxed, I'm not sure because I'm nowhere near that. Um, but he cleared the base, so he is the leader of our task force, which is Sausage Sandwich, if anyone wants to uh, if anyone wants to, uh, get in contact to join, um, just leave a comment on the video. Um, and in fact in the description there will be the, uh, the hashtag, uh, way to find it, or the name of it there, um, and we can discuss about getting you in. Um, so we're going to watch his his battle here. Um, the thing is, his tanks are so strong they can basically do anything you want. Um, so to be honest, he's not even that worried about the rocket launchers. One of them does go out, but that was because of that cannon. Level 20 cannons are quite good, and he's lost a few medics there. Um, but you can see this one running behind. He's uh, an absolute hero. Uh, just totally outran outran everything. Um, but he's even, he's even just shooting at the cannons, he doesn't care, um, but an absolute epic attack, um, so I'm going to slow it down to two times, um, yeah, absolutely heroic, we, we were about, I think, 13 minutes away from ending the operation, and he comes in with his attack, and that was brilliant, so 102 out of 75, um, just to, just to show that it's not quite right, um, but absolutely brilliant attack. Um, so that was our hacksaw operation. Um, really chuffed with that. Um, and if anyone was wondering, this is the reward I got from it. Um, being only a level 19, you do get a lower reward. Um, so from this level, the 120 victory points, I can't remember what exactly um, contributes to how much you get, um, but that was, that was what I received. I haven't used it yet because the next thing I'm going to upgrade on here is the uh, sculpture again. Um, so once I've got enough resources, I will um, I'll get that. So I'm just going to have a look if there's anything I can attack just for a final bit of the video. Um, we've got an NPC bank, so I'll have a quick look at that. These seem to be the only ones I can do at the moment because I keep getting out, like way over level 20 uh, bases, and you know some of these have got boom cannons and things like that, and I just can't compete with that. Not with not with my troops the way they are. So I think I'll have a go at attacking this. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Could be one of those videos that ends with a fail again. Um, so let's drop them down and send them straight over here, away from them. Um, what I'm going to do is take out the left side sniper. Um, and then I'm going to shock both of those so I'm freely able to take those down as well as the oil barrels um, to give me some extra energy and then I'm going to take out the mortar well, I don't know if I'm going to take out the mortar but I'm going to send them to the right hand side I shouldn't have sent them to the right hand side yet because we're going to lose a lot of troops this way I uh, should have thought that through slightly better um, but I'm going to stick a heel on them and as long as they don't take my zookas that base is going down. Right, so I'll end with that one because I'm not going to wait to retrain my troops. I don't really want to spend diamonds on it. Um, not anymore because I'm going to be saving this for, for essential upgrades when you're very close to an upgrade or I haven't quite got um, the storage capacity for an upgrade. Uh, then I'll be using my diamonds. Um, right, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you if you do want to get in, in touch about the task force, just leave a comment, and um, we can discuss something. All right, cheers, guys.